Okay, we're back. This is probably like the third or fourth time I've I've made this video. I was just trying to find a really good spot to uh, showcase some awesomeness. That was not the awesomeness I wanted to show. Uh, that, that's, that's pretty good substitute. Anyways, I've been through here a little bit, um, fighting stuff. I actually went through the swamp and went that way. So I cleared that room out and got the heretic staff and all that cool stuff. And now I'm trying to figure out how the hell to get upstairs in the room that's behind us. Why did I come back this way? I don't know. I'm just looking around. Because you see, I can clearly see that there is a second floor. But I can't figure out how to get to it. All I can see is a broken staircase. Right there. With that item right there. That is the best item in the game, you can tell. If you pick that up, you win instantly. Forever. You'll never, ever have to play a game again. It'll just be like, oh, it's you. You win. But, yeah. I'll make sure I don't jerk the camera too much. Sometimes that can make my eyes get angry and they'll go on strike. Hmm. Anyways, I cleared this room out. There were some spellcasters and stuff. Stuff, and then I found that doorway. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, okay, um, sure. Sure, I'll just pretend I didn't just hear myself run through water. Anyways, as I was saying, we all recognize this room. There's a little soul arrow dude over there with another guy with a shield on the top of that staircase. Leads out to the swamp, which is cool and all, but how the fuck do I get up there? Because look at the light. That generally indicates something of significance. I was trying to pull an E and B. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Yeah. That is a relatively minor programming error. And I'm not going to hold it against him. I might make a few snide comments about it, but I won't hold it against him because honestly, in the grand scheme of things, that's that's chump change. Enemies that can just constantly clip through walls to hit you, that I'm going to hold against him because that is, quite frankly, either seriously negligent on their part, that's that's a type of glitch that is very common and should have been caught, or it's just fucking lazy programming as a um, crutch for a challenge. Yeah, the enemy can attack you through the wall, but you can't hit the wall because your sword will rebound off like that. It's like, yeah. Not a big fan of that stuff. Before anyone says, well, like, let's see you do better. Hey, I have programmed. Okay, no, I haven't made any commercial releases, but I have programmed. In fact, that's what I did out of high school. I had an internship at the local uh, phone company. It's not really an internship. It was like some scholarship summer job deal thing. I'm not, I'm, I just call it an internship because that's the closest thing to describe it. But that's what I had to do. I, I helped them with their uh, networking. It was fun. I'm even a certified, oh god, the company's defunct now, so it kind of doesn't matter, but I, what was the name of that brand of computer? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm a certified such and such technician. Had to take a test and everything. It was pretty cool. But, that being said, yeah, I, I'm i qualified to, to criticize this stuff. Plus, I'm a gamer, and I'm allowed to have an opinion. And so are you. You can think I'm full of shit. That's totally cool. Not everyone's allowed to be right. <laughs> I get it? And then flying that I'm right and you're wrong because I'm awesome. Yeah. Anyways, the point being, I still don't see a way up there. I still, where is the way? I mean, I, I've got to be missing it. I have to be. Unless it's down there, but I don't see how it could be. Unless, unless there's another side to down there. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, there's a there's an ucky monster in there. And I probably don't want to drop down because he'll slap my my face off. 
Oh, there's an item down there. Damn it. <sighs> Alright, we're going down there, but we're going to go down there the safe way. I'm trying to be less of a bitch, but at the same time, I'm not going to be trading in my bitch title for a dumbass title. You're thinking, huh? Does that even make sense? It does, if you're me. If you're not me, you probably have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't worry about it. Crap, is that, is that crab gonna go over here and play? Because I don't want to play the crab. Chug it. Ugh. Gonna fight a bad guy, baby, this evening. Where you at? Okay. Missed. Cheater fucker. Dude, you gonna jump at me? Jump at me. I like it when you jump at me. Oh yeah, this guy is a perfect example of what people are talking about when they say like it feels like you're playing Bloodborne at dark to the speed. Oh damn it. This guy feels like he was taken straight out of Bloodborne. I feel like I'm moving at Dark Souls speed, which is just slow enough that gives him a pretty big advantage over me. Oh, damn it. I hate you, you son of a bitch. Fuck off. What the hell? What the fuck? On? Oh, you stupid fucking crap. Got me on this one, but I got you first, so screw you. Seriously, I hate the targeting AI in this game. It is beyond retarded. That was just fucking stupid. Whatever. Hey, sorcerer set. That's cool and all, but there's there's nothing. Ooh, the sage ring, that's cool, I guess. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's, there's nothing here. I did all that for a stupid sorcerer set and a sage ring. But yeah, fighting enemies like that was a coach, just that, that thing was straight out of Bloodborne. And as such, he was moving straight out of Bloodborne. And I don't feel as fast as I did in Bloodborne. But the problem is, Bloodborne punished you for being cautious. Dark Souls punishes you for being aggressive. Um, yeah, so which way do you go? I don't, I don't have my regain in this one. I guess there's an item that gives you a... a the fuck was that? Yeah? yeah? As I say, I guess there's a, an item that you can get that gives you a, like, a diet regain ability, but everyone said it was just, it's just not the same, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that, I'm, I'm trying to like Dark Souls 3, but honestly, it doesn't feel like Dark Souls 3 to me, what it feels like, this is kind of hard to put into words, but it's like someone else's game pretending to be Dark Souls, yes, I know it's made by From, but it just, it just, feels like it's someone else. Like generic cola. This is not my delicious Pepsi. And yes, you can quite clearly tell the two apart. I still don't see a way up there. Huh. Yeah. Goes that way. Is I can't really see up there, so it's hard to do the, the EMB technique of trying to put yourself in the uh, level designer's shoes. Which, by the way, sometimes he does not even come close. He, he often neglects to take into account what he's already done from, you know, f to, to get to the point he's at. Uh, case in point, the High Wall of Lothric, he was doing one of those, yeah, you see, this is here to 
point out the pathway here, and he's like, no, actually that crossbowman is not there to point out that pathway, because that crossbowman is where you start. The first thing you'll see is the pathway. The crossbowman is there to teach you to watch your fucking back, because he's going to shoot you in the ass. The only reason that he saw the crossbowman before he saw the pathway was because he'd actually gone the whole way around the level. He'd done a loop and he was coming back to the beginning. So yeah, you're, you're seeing it in reverse. But generally, he's, he's pretty spot on with that. And I know he's been some, you know, doing some, some game design himself. So yeah, similar background. I made a little dinky game and it was really lame. And this whole pathway right here is telling me that I'm about to get my anus widened. Oh yeah, there is no way in hell that's not a boss room. Where's my fog gate, guys? Why don't you give me my fog gate? <sighs> yeah, nothing ventured. Let's do this. My goodness. Oh, whoa, he's got clones? Ow, I don't like you, you're mean. Oh shit, there's over there too? Not him? Oh. Oh, you must be him, because you're purple shit at me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm running away. Excuse me, I need to chug. Oh my god. Actually, I didn't need to chug, I just wanted to chug because I was scared, okay? I was scared. Uh-oh. God, this guy is casting spells like it's going out of style. Because it is. Oh shit, did I get him? Oh snap! Yeah, 
Yeah, now what? I begin to get my anus widened. Oh. And I ended up widening his instead. Hers, it's, whatever. What the hell was that man? It was scary. Alright. See, I don't completely suck. Just mostly. Just mostly, that's all I'm saying. Just mostly. Yeah. You guys are all like, dude, dude, you just actually did something right. And I'm like, dude, I'm Lothgar. With my trusty friend Frosty here, I'm, yeah, I'm just, yeah, check it out. I'm gonna do my little shield taunt thing, because what more can I do? Do I have a dance emote? Is there a cool dance emote? Prayer, wave, jump for joy. Yeah, sure, we'll test that. Woohoo! Because I'm so cool. Yeah, alright, so. Yeah, well, this has been yet another exciting Angry Ice Cube video. So, um. Yeah, don't ever expect to see that again, because I don't think that'll ever happen again. Hmm. Oh, oh, alright. So, next time, maybe we will discover the secret of the hidden second floor, or I guess third floor. Or maybe we'll go that way. Or wait, let's go this way real fast. Wait, let's make sure. Okay, that's where I came in. So the second floor, or third floor, whatever the hell it is, is over there. That seems to be going that way. Shield up. Red alert. Something very big is going to come running out of nowhere and just shove my head up its ass. I, I know how Dark Souls does this sort of thing. What the hell is that? Is that another taxi? Huh. Is that a crystal lizard I see over there on the left? I think it might be. Oh, you know what? I needed to buy those two rings off of Yuria. I think that was her name, Yuria. Eh, whatever. So I'm going to do that, because that's how I roll. So anyways, peace out, and I'll catch you next time. Ciao! Yay, figured it out. Who's this dude? Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. This guy's an asshole. Oh, teaches sorceries. How intriguing. Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer. With plenty to share. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you're not that sort of man. So you will make me a promise that in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing sorcery's secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? Sure, why not? But for the record, I didn't demand shit, dude. I asked. It clearly said ask to learn sorceries. Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck, a Vinheim. You're a douche. Unkindled one. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. Yeah, I wonder if that guy understands the weight of getting tossed off a cliff. That was a total asshole. Alright, so now that I'm up here... Hiccups! Yay! Hiccups! I found my hiccups! Come on. There it is. This is it. This is the best item in the game right here. Right here, everyone. This is it. That's it. I won. Game over. The world is saved. Blue bug pellet. Yeah. 
Let's take a look at those. Um, magic damage. I could have used those. Oh, shit. I should have equipped those. I could use those against the boss, too. Rest a coin. Oh, yeah. Stephen Stray, blah, blah, blah. Twin crystal sages once served as spiritual guides to the scholars of the Grand Archives, and one went on to ally with the Undead Legion. That must have been this one, I guess. There's that, there's that, what's that? Oh, yeah. Mm, got two. Oh, that's right, the dark, the dark wraith dropped one. Hello, carving. Yeah. Anything else that I forgot in the check? Oh yeah, Crystal Lizard killed itself and gave me a twinkling. I thought that was pretty nice of him. Right wrong crystal. Do 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 do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Some more spells. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to get my faith up one more. I can use that. Weapons. Exile Greatsword. Yeah. Got another one of those. Spear. A pike. Pike. Oh, it has the longest range. And by longest range, we mean not even anywhere near what the enemies can hit you with, but whatever. Hmm, heretic Staff. Uh-huh. Oh, I forgot about that. Dark mask, Contrary Hood, Sorcerer. Oh, yeah, I didn't even look at the Sorcerer set, did I? Oh, yeah, there's the Dark Mask. It's lame. I'm like, yeah, this thing is a piece of crap. Got another Herald set, by the way. That was kind of cool. All right, so let's do it. Let's, let's fashion the souls. What do I got? I got Fallen Knight, Herald Armor, Herald Gloves, Northern Trousers. Well, screw that noise, because we're going full-on Sorcerer. Oh wow, what the hell happened to my face? It's getting worse and worse. Here, flipping around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Lord of Hollows. Yeah, check me out. It looks like my face was made out of chocolate and it's starting to melt. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, well that about does it for that. So yeah.